What's up everyone, Ryan from Addicted to Nature, and today we're using hydrogen peroxide to kill the algae. Now, it's a fail-safe method, completely safe for your fish, shrimp, and plants, and uh, you just have to follow the instructions in this video to get rid of algae. Now, I realize a lot of the experts out there are saying, like, you have to balance your tank, reach your balance, but sometimes fiddling with the lights, the fertilizer, and all that stuff, water changes, just doesn't work out. So we do need a way to just remove them all. So I'm going to show you, give you a look around my tank. It's uh, pretty filthy right now. I've had uh, baby shrimp in this tank, so I've been letting it grow out. All the algae is growing out. I think it helps the fish and the shrimp graze, but now I really want to remove it now that they're getting older. So what do we do first? You're going to identify all the places with algae, including like in this moss, even though the java moss is purling, there is algae in there. And then we're going to use a big scrub pad and try to remove as much of the algae as we can. Don't worry if the algae starts floating in your water, it gets taken away by your filter relatively easily. And also once we add the hydrogen peroxide, it will get killed. So the trick with the scrubber is to just get to the parts where it's big and wide open areas like the front and the side panels and the back of the glass. So don't worry about going all the way to the bottom because um, we can use a toothbrush to get rid of the bottom. We don't want to, you know, accidentally bump our hardscape or, or, you know, break down a plant or break a plant or crush any shrimp, etc. So with a toothbrush, we can much easier get to those sides without ripping up a carpet of Monte Carlo or things like Dwarf Baby Tears where they have relatively thin roots. Real quick, what's hydrogen peroxide? It's basically a compound that during our normal metabolic processes we make. So it's not a brand new chemical that we're adding into our tank. Us humans, we make it. And it's not very good for us, which is why we have an enzyme called catalase in our liver to try to break this down into water and oxygen. Because hydrogen peroxide is basically water molecule with an extra oxygen attached. Now, this stuff is bad for algae because the algae doesn't have the necessary enzymes to cope with such a high influx of hydrogen peroxide. Plants and fish are a little bit stronger, a little bit uh, longer down the evolutionary chain, and they can deal with this in the amount of time that we're using, so it's completely safe. So once you're done with scraping the algae, you're going to notice that they're all floating there in the water column and it's going to be removed by your filter. Now, a lot of people will say, what about all the bacteria in my filter? Won't the hydrogen peroxide hurt that? In a way, um, yes, but also no, because the filter bacteria that we need is aerobic, which means that they can deal with the hydrogen peroxide, but all that influx of hydrogen peroxide it might not be good for them, so just remove the biological filter to be safe. We're going to use 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is sold in a pharmacy, and the recipe is 1.5 to 2 milliliters of water of hydrogen peroxide, sorry, per every gallon. Now, in this tank, it is a 10 gallon tank, but uh, we don't have a lot of substrate in there, we have a lot of rocks, so it's pretty much closer to 8 or you know, about 8 gallons or so, maybe a little bit more. So, we're going to do 16 milliliters of water. I keep saying water, but it's hydrogen peroxide, 60 milliliters of water, hydrogen peroxide in there. And we're going to leave this in for about 15 minutes. Now, normally you can close the, um, or turn off the filter if you want to do a spot treatment, but I'm going to show you the full tank dosing. If you have a lot of algae in your tank, this is probably the easiest way to do it. So add all 16 in there, keep the filter on, but make sure, remember, like I said, don't have the biological media in there. You're going to wait 15 minutes. During this time, you can turn off the lights because light does break down the, car, uh, the hydrogen peroxide. But for the purposes of the, of the video, so you guys can see, I'll keep this on. And then I'm just adding a little bit more on the hydrogen peroxide, so 16 total. And then this is the spot dosing treatment, where basically if you only have a little bit of algae in your tank, you can squeeze the hydrogen peroxide directly onto where all the... Um, stuff is all the algae is and just leave it in there for 15 minutes but make sure when you're doing this you have no water flow turn off the filter or other circulation pumps that way the hydrogen peroxide won't be carried away by the current and it'll stay there and react with 
the algae. So like I said, the algae doesn't have the necessary um, enzymes to deal with all of this uh, extra hydrogen peroxide, whereas your plants and your fish, and in most cases, your beneficial bacteria um, really depends on what they are and how much catalase that they can produce. But most of the time, the beneficial bacteria have some sort of defense against the hydrogen peroxide. So leave this on for 15 minutes and then you're gonna do a, you know, like 40 to 50% water change. It really doesn't matter because, you know, it breaks down, hydrogen peroxide breaks down into all the bubbles that you see that are floating up. That's basically just pure oxygen. And then you notice that your fish might be a little bit more lively. So within three to four days, you're gonna try to do this one more time and you're gonna see results then. So your hair algae will turn gray or white and then your stag hoard might turn red so thank you guys all so much for watching if this helped you please be sure to leave a like subscribe and we'll see you next time